Good morning, MSWP children. It's nice to see you today. Today we're gonna do a lesson on our classroom pet. Think about it. If you're in Miss Christie's class, what classroom pet do we have? There's actually more than one in there. You might have even held it before and it might have crawled up your hand. What could it be? That's right. We're gonna learn about snails today. I'm gonna read you a story first and then we're gonna play with our classroom pet snails and then I have a paper for you to color. So let's read our book first. This book is called Snail, Snaily, Snails. This was written by Bonnie Bader. Snail, Snails. Wow, that's a lot of snails. They look like our pet snails. Snails have soft bodies. They are like oysters and clams. A snail's body is soft and wet and a little slimy. A snail shell keeps its body safe. A snail can hide in its shell. Some snails are tall and some shells are flat. Look at those different snails. Most snail shells are smooth, but some are really hairy. Some snails live in gardens. A snail creeps across the garden. It leaves a trail of slime. The slime helps it hang on to plants. Snails eat plants. Many people do not like snails in their gardens. A snail uses its tentacles to feel around. Garden snails have four tentacles. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. How does a snail see? A garden snail has eyes. The eyes are on the tips of its long tentacles. So do you see at the very tip? That's how a snail can see with its eyes. Snails also live in ponds. Pond snails are dark brown. Some pond snails have gills like fish. Gills help snails breathe under the water. Other pond snails have a kind of lung. They float to the top of the water to breathe. A pond snail has two tentacles and it has eyes at the base of its tentacles. Wow, that's interesting. So this snail is different than our classroom pet snails. This is one that lives in the water. So it has two tentacles instead of four. And you see its eyes right there? They're not on the tips of the tentacles. Pond snails are different than garden snails. Interesting. Garden snails do not like the sun. Garden snails do like the rain. Garden snails like nighttime. Do you remember what that word is for animals that are busy at night? It starts with a n, knock. That's right, it's nocturnal. Dry weather is not good for a snail. So it goes into its shell and closes up the opening. And we've seen our snails do this in our classroom. Sometimes they just close up and they don't come out for a long time. A garden snail lays its eggs deep in the dirt. One snail can lay up to 85 eggs. As soon as the baby snails hatch, they look for food. The babies can eat their own eggshells or other eggs. So baby snails are the kind of animal that don't need their mommies when they're born. Some animals need mommies and some animals do not need their mommies. And snails, when they're born, can live all by themselves. 
The largest snail in the world can grow up to 18 inches long. This snail lives in the ocean. It can even eat a starfish. Wow, check out that picture. It's eating a starfish. That is a huge snail. The smallest snail is very tiny. 10 of these tiny snails could fit in the eye of a needle at the same time. Think about all the sewing work you've done at school and how hard it is to get your thread through the eye of the needle. 10 tiny snails could fit in that space. That is so small. Watch out little snails, beetles, snakes, toads, turtles, chickens, ducks, and geese like to eat snails. Look at all those hungry animals. You can catch snails and put them in a clear jar. Be sure the jar is open or has some small holes in it. Put some leaves in the jar. Watch the snails move slowly. Munch, crunch, snail, snaily, snails. And that is the end of our book. All right, now come back and watch another video of our real pet snails moving around and eating food. I'll see you in a minute.